<clears throat> All right. Well, hey, everybody. Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me again. What we're going to be talking about today is this little wonderful device right here. This comes from eLeaf. This is the Basal. Basal? Basal? It just seems normal to say Basal. I think that's the right way to say it. So I've been using this little Basal mod for about a month, a month and a half now. And I got to say, it's a fantastic mouth to lung vape. There are a lot of great mouth to lung vapes out on the market right now. There's things like the Mi Pod. There's a lot of pod systems. There's the Mi One. There's a lot of RTAs out there as well, like that Eris from Inokin. I like seeing all this great mouth to lung stuff out there. And this Basal mod is just a stellar, stellar little setup. I'm telling you, if I had something like this way back in 2009 when I started vaping, I would have, it would have been easy, instantaneous. I would have switched over so fast. The vape I get from this really reminds me of when I first started vaping and what got me into vaping. I started vaping in 2009 and we had junk back then, man. We had, we had garbage. We had really small underpowered batteries and really small little poorly made little atomizers, but we made it work. And this, if I had had this back then, I, I just would have been overjoyed with this device. And even now as like a nine year vapor, I still get a lot of joy from from this device. It's so good. It's just a very satisfying vaping experience. I've got this loaded up right now with a uh, sprig mint or <laughs> It's not Sprig Mint. I've got this loaded up right now with Spring Mint from Salt Nix line. It's a 20 milligram juice and it is very, very satisfying in this. I was a huge menthol smoker. So way back in 2009, when I first started getting into vaping, I was really going after a lot of like menthol vapes. And this Salt Nix in this tank and on this mod really remind me of some of those first good vaping experiences I had. The Basal mod, is itself is great. It's a nice little cool, slim, low profile design. It's brushed aluminum and then it's kind of got this weird rounded sort of record player texture on the back that I really enjoy. I really like holding it. It feels nice and grippy, but I could kind of see how some people not, might not be into the grooves on the back of this. They feel, uh, they feel a little weird sometimes. But the rest of the mod is just beautiful. It's so nice in the hand. None of these edges around the back, around the bottom here are sharp in any way. They're all nice and rounded. It's a very soft aluminum and it feels, I don't know, really classy, I guess, in your hand. It's got a very simple display on the front. It only shows you what you need to know. It shows you the resistance of the coils inside your tank. It shows you a battery level indicator and it shows you your wattage. That's perfect. That's all the information that this screen really needs to have. The buttons just lay flush against the mod. The top big button and the fire button is really nice and clicky. The adjustment up down buttons are really nice and clicky. They're not protruding in any way, which really adds to the overall kind of cool factor to this mod. It just makes it look and feel really sleek. The 1.8 mil capacity of the tank has given me zero issues. When you're vaping mouth to lung, you're not going through juice like crazy. Like if you were, if you were vaping like a sub ohm tank or an RDA or a squonker with an RDA on it, this isn't a lung inhale device. So you're not going to be blowing through juice. The 1.8 mil capacity for mouth to lung is a plenty, plenty big capacity. And even when you need to refill it, it's not difficult to refill. You pop the tank off of your mod, you unscrew the bottom of the tank, you'll see a little tube going through the middle. All you have to do is fill up the tank without going over where that little tube is. That little tube leads directly to your mouthpiece, so you don't really want any juice going inside there. But it's really easy. You just fill it up to the level of the tube, you pop the, the base back on with the coil head in it, you screw it all together, you screw it to your mod, and, and you you just vape. If this is your first time setting up this tank, it's a really good idea to put like 
two or three drops of e-liquid into the coil head before you fill up the tank. What you don't wanna do is fill up the tank and then put a dry coil head into the base and put it all together and attempt to vape it because the juice is not gonna be saturated in the coil head and you're gonna get like a really kind of awful burning cotton flavor. So putting those few drops of juice into the coil head really helps start get the juice flowing where it needs to go. And that's something that you only really need to do the very first time you set it up. After that, you can just fill up your tank like normal. And I just want to stress this, that back in 2009, when I started vaping, nothing was this simple. We didn't have anything with a base and a coil head where you could just fill up a tank and have a vape from it. That just kind of didn't exist. And so I'm really thankful now that there's new people getting into vaping that have the option of having something so simple like this to vape with. The tank itself has an adjustable airflow on the bottom. I usually open it up to just three of the holes. I found like for mouth to lung, that's kind of my favorite resistance. You can tighten down the airflow and get a stiffer draw, or you can open it all the way up and get more of an airy mouth to lung draw. The airflow on this doesn't quite open up far enough to be like a direct lung hit because that's not really what this tank is meant for. Even at full open, you still get a nice, smooth, swooshy mouth to lung airflow. It's honestly just a delightful vape. I love it. I can't help it. I really like this Basal mod. In the past, E-Leaf has kind of been a little bit hit and miss with their coil heads. Some of their coil heads are really great and some of their coil heads are not as great. I'm happy to say that the coil heads in the Basal tank taste delicious. They're nice and crackly. When you vape this, you hear just a little bit of crackly sound going on, which kind of lets me know that it's doing its job right. And like I said, the flavor on it is delicious. This is just a very simple spring mint. It's a menthol juice, but it tastes great in here. Now this isn't exactly a device that you're going to grow into. You're not really gonna put any other tanks or atomizers on this particular mod, but you can use this tank on other mods. I have personally used this Basal tank on multiple other vape mods, mostly single 18650 guys like that Segeli Evania. I can't pronounce the name of it, but it's a cool little 18650 mod, single 18650. And again, at 13, 14 watts, you're going to get some longer battery life out of this. So if we're going to talk about price, you're going to need your vape budget hands for something like this. Not really. Clicking around the internet, I found this anywhere from $35 to $40 for the whole kit. If you buy this little E-Leaf Basal kit, all you need to buy is juice and you're good to go. You can vape. I have the gold one right here. It comes in gold, it comes in rose gold, and it kind of comes in a grayish stainless steel look. They're all that brushed aluminum feel and they all have the circular record player texture on one side. When this arrived, I truly and honestly did not have very high hopes for it, but as soon as I got it out of the package and as soon as I felt it in my hand, I kind of went, okay, yeah. Th th this could be a thing. And I'm glad I gave it a chance because it turned out to be a stellar, stellar mouth to lung vape. If you are a current vapor looking for a dope little mouth to lung setup, or honestly, if you're a smoker looking for a really hassle-free and cool, slim little vape starter kit, I really feel like the E-Leaf Basal will not let you down. Coming very, very highly recommended. It's honestly just a very, very cool and reliable and satisfying kit. Okay, I'm done gushing about this. Real quickly, a few things I didn't mention. It's got an internal built-in 1500 ma or milliamp hour battery, which isn't necessarily a huge battery, but again, you're only running this at like 14, 15, maybe 16 watts. So it's going to give you a nice long battery life. Has a USB on the bottom for charging. The kit comes with a charger. And best of all, this is a two amp charger, which means faster charging. The Pyrex glass tank is a 1.8 mil capacity, which again, isn't like a huge capacity, 
but when you're vaping mouth to lung, this is more than enough. And it also does the very standard issue thing that all mods do, five clicks on, five clicks off. You click the power button, one, two, three, four, five, and it turns it off and it's locked. And now when you press the buttons or fiddle with anything, and maybe this is in your pocket or maybe it's in your purse or maybe it's in like your cup holder in your car, if anything comes into contact and like presses that button down, it's not going to fire and it's not gonna fire and like ruin your coil head on the inside. One, two, three, four, five, five clicks back on, and then you're good to vape. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some links down in the description to where you can check this out if you are interested, but yeah, it is what it is. It's the E-Leaf Basal, mouth to lung, just, just happiness. Anyway, that's what I got for today, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me, and as always, yeah, dude, let's keep on vaping. <laughs>